Greetings people, it's Jared here, Wolfgang1, back to do another video and I'm beyond pissed off. I am not fucking remotely happy at all. This now constitutes the fourth or possibly fifth time today I've tried recording this. Fucking lovely. Because I really want to spend the entire day sitting in front of a camera, acting like a prat, trying to do a fucking video that has absolutely no consequence or note on anybody's life at all, including mine. Right? But today we're going to make an exception. Today I'm going to sit here in front of a camera for more than three hours trying to do a fucking, fucking collection haul video. Great. Brilliant. I hope, to some degree or another, for a lot of you, it's worth it. I really do. Because can I just say, from my point of view, it hasn't been. Remotely. Anyway, hello everybody. I'm back again and I'm doing my 2014 stroke 15 haul. The first video for 2015. If it ever gets fucking finished, if it ever gets processed, if even I manage to get anywhere near fucking YouTube without some fucking cataclysmic disaster taking place, right? We're going to go for all this shit one more fucking time, okay? Before I really, really seriously lose the fucking plot. Anyway, hello. Nice to see you all again. I know I said I've been away again and I was coming back and blah blah blah. Stuff's been happening and I dare say by the end of tomorrow I should know exactly whether or not I can go ahead and do a really really super fucking strange strange corner. In fact the strange corner that I might never be able to fucking top. We'll see how we do that one. Anyway, um, this is going to be all the stuff that I've purchased since about August 2014. Uh, again. Um, and I'm just going to try and get through it because I'm, I'm really, really, really losing the will not only to live but to do this video and in fact any impetus to make videos again in the future. I've got now got to the stage with this video where I could quite happily never fucking sit down in front of the camera ever again and do this shit, right? But anyway, hello. Um, right, so the Collection Hall 2015, the first video of 2015. And uh, we're going to start with what I'm wearing. Something a little bit different. Oh yeah. Many thanks to my sister, who for Christmas got me, believe it or not, this Jim will fix it t-shirt. And if anybody wants to see me wear this at all assembly, please message me. Because I will more than happily, more than happily fucking do that. Upset a few people, why not? That's why I go. Oh yeah, and, and the uh, the company as well, brilliant. Um, right, so, issue 36 of the Star Trek collection. I wanted to continue buying these, I wanted to get just the Federation Starship, the shop that I get them from stopped selling it after issue 6, and then lo and behold, 30 issues later, oh yeah, there it is again, so that fucking pissed me off wildly. So my local cost cut can fuck off. I only bought that out of protest. Um, then we go on to this, uh, which is... Alien Isolation for the PlayStation 4. I picked this up at CEX for 28 quid. And I've got to say, I've actually been quite enjoying this because it captures Ridley Scott's 1979 film quite well. It's set a few years after. Um, but it's nice to see a game has able to catch the, uh, the spark and the imagination of the original Alien film more than Prometheus ever fucking could hope to achieve. Um, and this is a hell of a lot more enjoyable than Alien Clone Warriors, which was just a clusterfuck from start to finish. So... Um, yeah, I've been enjoying that. Very suspenseful. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V for the PlayStation 4. Now, I am exceptionally bad at the online game. There is somebody out there with a 25 to nil kill streak on me. I, I just don't play the online game the way it's supposed to be played. I'm not a cunt. Uh, I take part in the races. I quite enjoy the races, but the rest of it, I'm actually quite poor at. But, fuck it. Uh, that cost me 50 quid. Brand new. Um, and I went ahead and bought a PlayStation 4 because it occurred to me having a PlayStation 4 games without a console to play on was a bit stupid so I bought this first before I went ahead and got those uh, and I'm very 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 happy with that very happy with that I must say um, and as part of the package for buying a PlayStation 4 I got these on top um, I got a few other games that I sold oh, for fuck's sake there goes my fucking smoking pen Damage, as usual. Um, I got a whole bunch of games for, with the PS4 when I bought it. Um, and it was second hand, which is more than happy. I'm more than happy with that. 
Um, some of them I traded in to get uh, Grapple Flight of Five and something else, and some of them I kept. So, along with the PlayStation 4, I got Infamous Second Son, which I will play at some point when I can be bothered. Uh, Killzone Shadowfall, which I will play at some point soon in the near future if I can be bothered. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which is just a turgid pile of shit, more so than the rest of the Call of Duty games ever were. Um, but I will try and push on with this because I'm a, I'm a cunt to myself. And The Last of Us Remastered. Um, I traded in the original on the PlayStation 3. This is exactly the same as the last one, it's just sharper, it's, it's well, as it might suggest, remastered. And just as every bit, if not more beautiful, than the original was. Um, this is very, very striking. I do hope they make a sequel to this because I, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, so yeah, that, that was a... Uh, that was lovely. Then we move on to DVDs. I'm, I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible because I'm very much painfully aware that any time now the sky could fall in, the, uh, the ground could open up beneath me, I could have a, a band of fucking travelling Oompa Loompas coming and totally fucking spoiling this for me, I'm just going to push straight on into, into DVDs. And I would like to extend a massive thank you to Jenna Ryder Oliver, my friend who fucked up the second recording of this uh, by phoning me to wish me happy birthday because it's my 35th birthday. Thank you very much. Um, who for Christmas got me season one and two of Mongols. Now, if you haven't seen Mongols, it was a BBC, BBC Three television show. Lasted two series and they cancelled it. This was fucking wrong. It was funny, it was uncomfortable to watch at times, but it was very, very, very good. And I'm very, very pleased to have this in my collection. So thank you very much, Jenna. I do appreciate that. If anyone hasn't seen it, check out some YouTube clips of it or try and find some episodes where you can um, and give it a watch. Um, I picked this up not too long ago because if I hadn't seen it and a lot of people said it was shit but mine was fun and they were absolutely right. Pacific Rim, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and there's plot holes fucking everywhere in it, there's uh, all that shit. But it was big robots smashing the shit out of big alien monsters and I just thought, Do you know what, yeah fair enough. It does its job and it does it reasonably well so yeah, fair enough. Um, now, I picked this up recently, Iron Man 2, and I, I bought this because I have Iron Man 1. And I thought to myself, I, I watched it again, and I thought to myself, do you know what, this isn't as unbearably excruciating as I thought it was the first time around. So, you know, on, on the second viewing, it, it's worth consideration. Still not the best film in the world, but, you know, enjoyable <laughs> escape is fun while you've got the uh, brain capacity to enjoy that sort of thing. And then just to finish off that particular trilogy, when I bought that, I also got Iron Man 3 as well, which is, I kind of enjoyed Iron Man 3 uh, for all its faults. It, you know, it is what it is. Um, I also picked up The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, a lot of people were on the fence about this film. I quite enjoyed it. Um, it was a little overlong, but sod it. And I think um, Andrew Garfield is uh, very awkward and very in that case, well, place to play Peter Parker. Uh, I hope they keep him on board for any subsequent films they make after this. Uh, Oblivion starring Tom Cruise and uh, Morgan Freeman. Tom Cruise is now starting to play exactly the same part in every fucking sci-fi film he makes. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to see this, but I was actually mildly surprised by this. And it's nice to see Morgan Freeman also playing the same part he's played in very much every film since the Shawshank Redemption. Um, Godzilla. I bought Godzilla out of CX for £6, but all these actually came from CX, I don't buy DVDs new. Um, and this film, uh, I saw the trailer for this film, and the trailer, in my eyes, just was advertising a completely different film, because they didn't give, really, up to the fact that Godzilla's in it, there wasn't anything else in the trailers to allude what this film was going to be. Um, so this was actually a pleasant surprise when I saw this at the cinema. Um, and if I haven't mentioned it in a previous haul video before, I'm going to mention it now. And if I have mentioned it, then I'm sorry either way, but fuck you. Um, I got the complete first series of The Walking Dead out of CX a little while ago. Um, because I wanted to start collecting this if at all possible. And this, this only cost about seven or eight quid or something like that, so I was quite happy with that. Um, so that's season one. And not too long after that, I managed to get hold of the complete second series of The Walking Dead. So that, that suited me down to the ground. Um, so I was very happy to get that. Um, when I purchased uh, Grand Theft Auto V, I had an £18 uh, gift slip, uh, that sort of to buy uh, using store, uh, £18 left, so I went ahead and got season 3 on the same day as The Walking Dead, so I managed to get two things that I really wanted, essentially for nothing when I traded in all the stuff that I no longer had a need for, I didn't want, 
Um, so I got two things that I really wanted for essentially free. So I was very, very happy for that. And I'm very happy with mostly everything that I buy. I'm just not very happy to fucking spend three hours trying to fucking show it off in a video. Um, so, as part of my Christmas present from Jenna, who, as I said earlier, fucked up the second recording of this, um, I picked up the complete full series of The Walking Dead as a Christmas present. So thank you very much, Jenna. I do appreciate that. And that will go very, very nicely with the rest of them once I've watched them. Um, moving on from there, because today is my 35th birthday. Thank you very much. Um, Jenna also bought me uh, the complete seventh series of Doctor Who, uh, which I was trying to get hold of this, and I couldn't find it anywhere. It was either the first part or the second part. I couldn't find the two together, but she's managed to get it, probably from Amazon or somewhere like that, but that's more than sufficient. Um, so thank you very much, Jenna, for getting me that. Um... I bought Day of the Doctor from CEX for about six quid, um, or eight quid or something like that, so that, that was pretty cool. Uh, so that, that, that's flushed out the Doctor Who collection nicely. Um, and as part of my birthday present today, along with the seventh series, she also got me the Time of the Doctor, um, so which means I don't actually need to go ahead and buy the 50th anniversary box set, because um, I've got pretty much everything there, uh, with the exception of uh, Adventure in Space and Time, but I can watch that anyway, uh, like on iPlay or something if I want. So yeah, I was very happy with that. So Jenna, thank you very much. And when I picked up the 50th anniversary episode, I also picked this up out of CEX for £18, um, the complete 8th series starring Peter Capaldi, which doesn't have his Christmas episode in, which I'm not surprised, but I was surprised to see this out so early. Um, so that's pretty much all of New Who covered, with the exception of his Christmas episode. So, hmm. I'm very, very happy to have that as well. So my DVD pending pile has gone from that back up to about that, which is, you know, fine. That's absolutely fine. And then to finish off the DVDs and bring us out into the rest of this haul, I picked up this turgid piece of shit, Transformers 4 Age of Extinction. Michael Bay deserves, quite frankly, to have whatever passes for testicles uh, either surgically or forcefully removed for um, dumping this on the world. This is no excuse for this film at all. Um, I got up to the part where they all meet in the desert, I turned it off and went, well, this works and I know I will probably never touch it again. Um, so, fuck you very much, Michael Bay, for that one. Um, and then we come on to this, um, the rest of the Transformer stuff. Uh, I probably, I, I didn't show this off in a previous video, I'm pretty sure I didn't, but um, basically, uh, some time ago, I picked up issue 100, the last issue of Regeneration 1, um, and the story is a little bit weird, it, it's, it's actually quite grim, and uh, towards the end, but for anyone else, I'm not going to give any spoilers away. Um, but yeah, that finishes off the um, Generation 1 continuity from IDW. Now my mother, for Christmas, bless her, warned me, what you're about to open is proper shit. And do you know what? Bless her, the poor love, she wasn't far wrong. I'm just going to make sure we're still recording first of all. Yay, fucking, who oh knew, brilliant. Um, she bought me the Transformers 2015 annual, and I'm not being funny, ladies and gentlemen. This is bollocks. It is bollocks. Um, the ones we had back in our day were much better, weren't they? Hey, hey, hey. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty bollocks. But it feels like um, a centimetre and a half on the shelf, so uh, can't argue with that. And as part of my other part of the Christmas present, she got me this, which is still a bit bollocks, but it's fucking brilliant. Which is um, this Autobots Lightning Strike. It, it was part of a uh, thing we had when we were children where you had like cassette tape and as you listened to the cassette tape you read the story that it was telling. Um, now this has prompted me to think about maybe collecting the rest of the books in this series so thank you very much mum for giving me another excuse to waste my money. I do appreciate it. And from Amazon I picked up this. Um, volume 1 Phase 2 as I like to call it, Volume 9 of the IDW collection. Now this focuses on the More Than Meets the Eye and R.I.D. storyline, something I haven't read. So as a result, I'm about three and a half years behind everybody else. Um, but I've started reading it in this format. And actually, I'm not, it's alright so far. It, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it for what it is. I'm looking forward to seeing where the stories go. So thank you very much, Amazon, for that. Then we come on to the figures, ladies and gentlemen. Um, extended a massive thank you to Tomo. Steve, who in trade for Masterpiece Wheeljack, um, traded me, sorry, Masterpiece Wheeljack, no, uh, I got him a Masterpiece Bumblebee. Mm. And a Masterpiece Wheeljack, I'm thinking about Masterpiece Bumblebee, um, he paid for the Wheeljack, uh, so the Bumblebee, um, he traded me uh, ROID 
Optimus Prime. And I've transformed the cab on this, and I've, it took me a little while to get it back into cab mode. I haven't turned it into super mode yet, and I probably won't do, because I quite like the, um, the fire engine, the old mode. It takes up a bit of space on my shelf, but sod it. Um, that's pretty cool. I do like that. So, uh, thank you very much, Steve. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy to have him. And he's got little rubber tyres and everything like that. It's always good. Always good. Um, so, yeah. I've got ROD Prime there. And as part of the same trade, Steve also traded me Cybertron Prime. Now, I was thinking about getting one of these a couple of years back. Um, and I thought, do I, don't I, don't know. I finally got older by it, and I should have picked it up when I first thought about it. This is fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The, the plastic is solid, the colours are bright, it's chunky, it, the joints are tight on it. I'm very, very, very happy to have this. So, Steve, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, yes, very, very pleased with that. At this point, I'm now going to extend a uh, massive thank you to... Uh, oh, actually, no, no, I'll come to her in a second. Um, I went to Toys R Us, and Toys R Us, my Toys R Us is normally a bit shit, doesn't have anything in it. Um, normally Age of Extinction stuff or movie stuff or stuff like that shit, but they'd actually packed it out a little bit. So there's still a bit of Age of Extinction stuff, fuck it, I'm going to buy that shit anyway. And uh, some new ROID figures, but I wasn't really taken with them. Basically the only thing that I found was this, for 19.99 or 20 quid, um, the Optimus Prime Evolution 2 pack. Which now means I've finally got a Classics Prime. Um, I might still get the Henkei at some point, I'm not sure. And it comes with the Age of Extinction um, Evasion Mode Prime, which actually, despite my initial misgivings, is not a complete piece of shit. Both these toys have very, very tight joints, um, plastic on them, both is solid, um, the transformation for the Age of Extinction Prime is a bit of a bastard. But other than that, I'm quite happy with that. Um, so yeah, thank you very much Toys R Us for not being as shit as you normally are. And uh, yeah. From there, I'm going to extend a massive thank you to Helen Morley, who travelled down uh, on Friday. We, we spent uh, a couple of days together, we got absolutely drunk, we had a right laugh. Um, and as part of my birthday, in exchange for her masterpiece, Bumblebee, uh, she gave me the original masterpiece, Skywarp. Um, now, I've already got rid of one of these once, um, but I'm willing to keep hold of this for the time being, um, until the new version, of, I can get on the new version of Skywarp, in the MPL 11 mould. And then what I'll probably do is I'll probably send this off to someone to get customed into a new new uh, figure or something like that, or uh, modded slightly. So yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with him. I'm going to put him back on the shelf for the time being uh, to go alongside Thundercracker. So a masterpiece gone. Thank you very much, Helen. Uh, and down to the last three things now. Um, I picked this up about two months back, two three months back. Something that I've been itching to get hold of ever since I saw the prototype designs, um, and I wasn't sorry I've got it, is uh, MP20 Wheeljack. Uh, cost me 50 quid for my local source, uh, my usual source, and uh, a bit of a bastard trying to get back into car, so I might have to give that another go at some point, but other than that, he is very, very, very nice indeed, and I'm very, very happy to have him, so that's Wheeljack there. Uh, and then last month I picked up MP21 Bumble. Now I know people say that he's, oh, he's really small and that, but he does scale with the MP21, I, I, I suspect he scales the way he's supposed to, um, and I appreciate you saw, he does come with the spike figure, that's a bit shit, I keep popping the arms off the ball joints. Um, and I know he's a bit small and everything like that, but you know what, I like him. I like him for what he is, he's, he's small, he's compact, he's fun, and uh, he doesn't look out of place with the rest of the masterpieces as far as I can see. So, thank you very much to my usual source for hooking me up with that. But the crown in this overall haul, I can't believe I've got to this stage now, uh, this is now like the fourth or fifth time I've tried doing this and I'm... I'm slowly clawing back the will to live, but, you know, there we are. Um, about a week and a half ago, a week ago, I picked up the crown in my overall haul, which is MP22 Ultra Magnus. And I've been itching to get this guy ever since he was rumoured, actually, that I was doing him. And once I saw the prototype pictures, I don't give a fuck about the butt flap, really. Anyone who's really complaining about that is a prat. Um, it's Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. It is an Ultra Magnus proper masterpiece, and it's fantastic. Um, I'm really not sorry I have this, and I'm eagerly awaiting their next announcements because I know they're going to fill out my shelf nicely, every bit as much as this guy does, butt flap or no butt flap. So yeah, that, ladies and gentlemen, constitutes my haul for uh, the end of 2014, start of 2015. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I can't believe I've now got to the end of it twice. Fuck me, wonders will never cease. Um, I will see you again at some point soon when I've mustered up enough energy to sit in front of this camera and go for all this sort of bullshit again. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed this. 
I will see you all again at some point soon. I'm now going to try and upload this video before, you know, my 36th birthday, because as we all know, today is my 35th birthday. Thank you very much. And I shall see you again at some point soon. Until, we sh until that happens, ladies and gentlemen, I will say, take care.